Hi and welcome to this Math Signet tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to search in Math Signet, one of the large databases for mathematics and related subjects. Let's have a look at the search interface. There are four search boxes where you can restrict your search into different search fields. You can also restrict your search into a specific time frame. We will focus on the Publications tab. Let's see what we can find on computability of algebraic structures. First, we enter some words for computability. Then, we enter some words for algebraic structures, such as groups or fields. Note that adjacency is assumed in Math Signet. This means that this is searched as a phrase. We get over 5,000 hits. If we see an interesting title, we click on the link to read the review. If the article link is in red, then we can access the full text. Otherwise, we can click on the SFX button to the right to see whether the KTH library has the journal in print. Five thousand hits are way too many. We want a smaller hit set. One way of doing this is to search only in the titles of the papers. We get 183 hits, a much smaller set. There's another way of obtaining a smaller hit set. Look at this title. This is exactly what I want to read about. Attached to the reference are math subject classification codes. The codes tell you in what field of mathematics the paper is written. We see that this paper has the following classifications attached to it. We see that 03D is about computability and recursion theory. It is exactly what we want to read about. We remember these codes and add them to our search. We add the code for computability and recursion theory as a math subject classification primary or secondary code. Be aware that there can be other codes relevant for computability theory. For example, 68Q is about the theory of computing. We also add some codes for uh, groups, algebras, and algebraic structures. We change the fields into MSC, primary, secondary, and we change back to searching in anywhere instead of the title field. We get 305 hits. This hit list is much smaller and more precise. I will now show you how to download a couple of the references for later citations. Let's take these two. Here you choose in which format you want to download your reference. I will use the EndNote format since EndNote Web is free for KTH students. Click here. Then save your file. And then you upload it to EndNote Web. Please view our EndNote tutorial on how to do this. There is another way of saving your references. You can add them to the clipboard. Then go to the clipboard link. From the clipboard you also have the possibility to save your citations. Just click here. Unfortunately, there is no search history in Math Signet. So if I find a new good word which I want to use, for instance in this reference, I find the term linear ordering, then I need to go back in the browser history to add this word. To recap, start with some keywords, search in all fields or specify one, for example title field. Browse the reference, 
add new interesting math subject classification and keywords there is no search history you need to use the browser history to go back having problems ask at the kth library take an information searching course at the library or visit us at our website for more information thank you